water. Earth. Fire. Air. Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is going to be my video for the new Avatar The Last Airbender announcement for all the multiple new series and new Avatar movies. So I'll explain what's going on, what they're going to start with, what's happening first, and when we're actually going to see all those new projects. If you're new to the channel, of course I'll be doing episode videos and videos for all the movies that they're doing. There's going to be so much new Avatar content coming from them, animated Avatar content. So it's literally the best possible thing that could have happened. You said you wanted a new animated Avatar series. Mike, Brian, and Nickelodeon are like, hold our beers, we'll do you one better. We're gonna give you a brand new Avatar-verse with a bunch of new shows and a bunch of new movies. So first things first, just explaining what happened if you didn't see the big presentation that they were doing yesterday. Viacom is rolling out a brand new streaming service called Paramount Plus, and they were announcing their programming slate. Like there was a big Disney Plus announcement with all the new Star Wars shows, the new Marvel shows that they're doing. It was enormous. They're doing like 10 new Marvel shows and 10 new Star Wars shows in the next couple of years alone. So the Viacom people are like, okay, how do we get people to pay for our service? So they were announcing all their new programming. And when they got to the part where they were announcing all the new Nickelodeon animation shows and movies that they're developing, they announced that Mike and Brian are creating their own studio called Avatar Studios for the purposes of going full Star Wars or like full Marvel Cinematic Universe with the Avatar The Last Airbender brand. So this is all for animation. They said they'll be making multiple new animated Avatar series at this studio, animated movies and shorts for Paramount Plus, the streaming service, theatrical movies like the Demon Slayer movie or the My Hero Academia movies or like even Pixar movies. They'll actually release those in theaters when we can go back to theaters. And some of their new Avatar stuff will also be going back to the regular old school Nickelodeon TV channels. Remember when cable TV was a thing that people paid for? Most of the bigger series and movies though that they make will eventually all live on Paramount Plus, including the original Avatar The Last Airbender series and the Korra episodes. I know you're all asking, what does this mean about the Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender live action series that they were doing last year that they left that project? Netflix is still making that. I'll explain how all these new Avatar series and movies will affect that Netflix stuff later in the video. But they announced that the first new project that they're doing, this first new Avatar project, is going to be an animated theatrical film. They'll release it in theaters and it'll begin production later this year. This is Mike and Brian's official statement, so Brian posted this on his Instagram. He said, Brike is back at Nickelodeon in a big way with a bunch of emojis. Mike and I are heading up a new studio dedicated to expanding the Avatarverse. So that's him saying that they're creating their own version of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the Avatar characters, basically. Like, we're expanding the mythology in a huge way with a bunch of new series and a bunch of new movies. So even though we're kind of only thinking about the next couple of years, like can't wait to see that next series, they're thinking about the next 15 to 20 years of Avatar. Like some of you will all go on to have children and grandchildren who will be watching brand new Avatar series. Like I said, this is like the coolest possible thing that could have happened to them. Them saying that they weren't really hot on creating more Avatar content right now, Viacom and Nickelodeon backing up a dump truck to their house and saying, why don't we just give you your own studio to do whatever you want to do? What do we have here? Then their statement just goes on to say, it's hard to believe it's been 19 years since we created Avatar The Last Airbender, but even after all this time, there are still so many stories and so many time periods in Aang's world that we are eager to bring to life. Meaning that a lot of the new series will just jump around in the timeline, in the past and probably in the future as well. We are fortunate to have an ever-growing community of passionate fans that enjoys exploring the Avatarverse as much as we do. Just for example, last year when Avatar The Last Airbender episodes hit Netflix, it was the most popular animated series around the world of any kind. It beat all the brand new animation. It was that popular. And this is in 2020, so you have all these brand new kids and people that are discovering the series after all this time. So it is more popular than ever right now. Then they go on to say, and with this new Avatar Studios venture, we have an unparalleled opportunity to develop our franchise and its storytelling on a vast scale in a myriad of exciting ways and mediums. That just means that they're going to continue to do all the books and the comics alongside all the brand new series and movies and shorts that they're going to be doing. 
Then they thank the Viacom and Nickelodeon executives for allowing them to do this, saying, From the start, they've supported our ambitious plans and created a positive, proactive environment for us. That's them throwing a little bit of shade at Netflix because they're still a little bit salty about what happened with the Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender live-action project. They say, we're excited to be back at Nickelodeon where Avatar began doing what we do best in the biggest way possible. We can't wait to build great teams and productions to make all this fantasy a reality. Like I said, they're not going to be staffing up and starting production on that first new Avatar movie till later this year. So they're still kind of spinning up the development process right now. So a lot of you are now asking, when are they going to release this first new Avatar The Last Airbender movie that they're talking about? And what is the movie going to be about? Well, they said in the announcement that they wouldn't be staffing up and begin production till later this year. It typically takes three to four years to make animated movies, just depending on how big they are. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a really great example. Amazing movie, but it was so complex that it took them four years from start to finish to make that. But that's the extreme example. The Avatar The Last Airbender movie that they're making will probably be something closer to like the Demon Slayer movie or the My Hero Academia movies, just a little bit smaller. So they might be able to get it out by summer 2023 or a little bit after that, just depending on how production goes. But it's still bare minimum going to be a couple years before we see that. What's most likely, though, is that they'll announce what the movie is going to be about later this year. Like, here, this is going to be the movie. Then within a year of that, we'll get our first trailer. Then we'll actually see the movie within a couple years. Then what happens after that movie comes out, per the announcement, that's when we see the first new full-blown animated Avatar series. So they're kind of doing one thing at a time right now, but eventually they'll get to the point where they can do multiple series and multiple movies all at the same time. Just the exact same way that Marvel does all their projects, like we have the Marvel Disney Plus series happening right now, but they're also in the middle of making a bunch of Marvel movies. Here's the thing for everyone asking what the movie is going to be about, though. What is this first new series going to be about? Which avatar is it going to follow? But Mike and Brian said that they felt like the original animated Avatar The Last Airbender series had a perfect ending as it is right now, and they had zero interest in trampling on that by trying to turn any of those comic book stories into new series. So the Avatar The Last Airbender movie that they're working on right now probably isn't going to be a retelling of the original story, and it's probably not going to be based on any of the comics. Yes, it's totally possible they could do a movie about older adult Team Aang like we saw them during the events of the Legend of Korra flashbacks with the really old versions of their characters, but I think it's more likely, just given their M.O. with the way they've treated the Avatar franchise in the past, that their strategy would be to start fresh with a brand new Avatar that they haven't done a big series for before like Avatar Kyoshi or a truly brand new Avatar character that we've never seen before. They're also probably going to use this first new Avatar movie to introduce a brand new animation style as well. Like, Korra looked very different on an animation perspective from the original Avatar series. The beginnings arc, those two episodes, could have been like its own small movie by itself. They did a completely unique animation style from the other Korra episodes, just to differentiate it. But that is probably what they'll do. They'll do the movie to introduce that new Avatar character. Then their first new Avatar series will just follow that brand new Avatar they introduced during the movie. Like brand new Earthbender Avatar, who isn't Kyoshi, shows up in the movie. They have some really big battles, some really big villain that they fight during the movie. Then when they get to that first new series, it's just Avatar the Legend of whoever that person was for four seasons. Here's the thing, though, for everyone who wants your Cabbage Man series or an Iroh series or a futuristic cyberpunk avatar series set in the far future like Blade Runner avatar. Mike and Brian said that they will do multiple new series and multiple new animated movies. So anything you really want, any of your big theories within reason, they can eventually get to all those different stories in the next 10 to 15 years. Like I said, this new Avatar Studios deal really is like them creating their own Marvel Studios. The animated shorts that they talk about are probably just to fill the gaps in between just because it's so much easier for them to produce those and get them out quicker. Like it'll take years to develop this brand new Avatar movie in the new Avatar series, but the shorts they can get out in under a year easily. The way Mike and Brian say it, there are just so many different points in the timeline that they love to explore. They're just going to be jumping around in the timeline quite a bit. But for those of you asking how this all affects the Netflix live-action Avatar The Last Airbender project, so they left the project last year, but Netflix is still making that, so this is still coming out, which is why I say it's probably less likely that this new Avatar The Last Airbender movie will be about Team Aang. There's probably some contractual arrangements behind the scenes saying that they won't try to directly compete with Netflix series. So if Netflix were trying to do a Team Aang series and then Mike and Brian tried to do an animated Team Aang series, there would probably be a big lawsuit and Viacom, Netflix probably don't want that to happen. 
So that's why whatever this brand new avatar project, the new movie, the new series is going to be, it'll be somebody completely new, some new avatar we've never heard about before. But they'll announce more details about what all these new projects are going to be later this year. So of course I'll do videos for that and other bonus videos. Leave all your requests and your big questions in the comments below. If you weren't around for my channel way back in the day, I did episode videos for all of Korra and I have a bunch of Avatar The Last Airbender videos as well. So I'll put links for all that stuff in the description. But my full WandaVision episode 8 video will post next tomorrow on Friday. Make sure you have alerts enabled so you don't miss any of that. Everyone click here for that brand new Spider-Man 3 No Way Home teaser trailer video and click here for my brand new WandaVision episode 8 trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys tonight.